welcome back to my channel. I managed to persuade Alex back again. I haven't had you on my channel for like a good year, I think. It's been a while. Yeah, if not more. This is my boyfriend of nine, nearly nine and a half years, Alex. I just thought that us two would do this video because I saw a video by an American couple called Eight Questions Interracial Couples Get Asked. Now, I never focus on the fact that Alex and I are in an interracial couple. I never put it out there like that because that's just not what our relationship is about. However, I was really intrigued by that video and I wondered, as they were an American couple and the article's an American article, I wondered if there would be any kind of differences over the pond because we do sometimes, or in my videos, there are people that ask me questions like is there any difference you know in Europe um, dating outside of your race or whatever. So Alex hasn't seen the questions before and I've haven't seen them in ages I've just got them up in front of me so trying to ambush me basically so then it's not really an issue yeah doesn't really doesn't really come up no and same in mine because my family is an amalgamation of all sorts of cultures and races, so fine, they're fine. Yeah, might yeah. I mean mine aren't, but it's just not really an issue. Yeah. So <laughs> sorry, but Yeah, that's right, it's not a mess exciting. No. <laughs> There's just no issue. I don't know, I feel like our family and friends are nice, liberal, supportive people. Yeah, so there's never been any of that kind of... Yeah, that kind of drama or issues. No, and around. like, if, you, if anyone would ever even bring up any kind of stereotype, then they just don't get out much. I do think that we live in a very... Our area is really multicultural. The school yeah. that we met at, very multicultural. So the chance, you know, they do say that if you get to know somebody outside of your race, your culture, etc., uh, you're way less likely to have kind of prejudices. And I think that's because you learn about that culture. There's, so there's no way you'd ever bring up a stereotype. Mm. So, no. It'd be interesting to... to to do this if we lived somewhere else. Yeah. Like, say we lived in quite a lot of rural area. Yeah. Because what don't get it twisted, like this? England is still racist. There is still, you know, racism. Yeah. And it, but it's definitely more prevalent in certain areas and we're out just outside mm -hmm. of London, so it's not really gonna be around here. Yeah. Well, especially the borough we live in, yeah. it's very like you said earlier, very diverse. Uh, not really. Maybe hair-wise it would. <laughs> hair-wise. Because obviously I've got natural hair, so I'm not just brushing my hair. Yeah. Uh, A lot of work going yeah. into it. Yeah, yeah. And I once tried. I once tried to get Alex to co-wash his hair because he's got quite curly hair, so I wanted to see what would happen. But it it completely failed. It just kind of went <laughs> a little bit greasy. I mean, I, I definitely feel like. Um, Going back to our, one of our main loves here, food. Mm -hmm. You've introduced me to food that I wouldn't eat if I was going out of a, I don't know, white person. Well, like West Indian food. Yeah. Well, to be honest, it's just food in general. There's loads of food. Yeah. But, yeah, particularly West Indian food. I, I've ne I'd never had it before. I started going out of you. I love it now. Um, it's not something I've worried about. Um, I think it would be quite cool for them. I actually have thought about this. Like, when we first like started thinking about just having children, so you know, just those kind of discussions, um, it was just like, whatever. But the more I've seen, the more I've noticed, like, a lot of my biracial friends, or even people that I just like follow on social media who are biracial and they kind of have, you know, similar bloggers and what have you, who've released a lot of uh, posts about their struggles being mixed race and having that kind of identity 
mm. clash, if you will, of either not feeling black enough or not feeling white enough. So that pl place of where do you fit in? Um, so I, I do worry about that because I don't want our child to feel like they have to identify with one or the other. Like mm. I want them to feel like it's you are a combination. Yeah, um, embrace like your whole heritage. Yeah. I remember also watching this program on Channel 4 which was like um, about people that have those, have twins and like one twin might come out looking like completely, you know, dominant white features, white skin, blonde hair, blue eyes. And I remember him saying that in school he'd be with a lot of his white friends and his white friends would be making fun of other people like of, of like black people and of mixed race people, but they didn't realize that he himself was mixed race. So in that sense, I, I will feel, I, d I don't know what I'll do, but it'll have to be a kind of cross that bridge when I come to it and hope that I approach it in the right way. Mm -hmm. um, but that's not gonna stop me from having kids, you know what I mean? I mean, this is a hard one to answer because we've- Only dated each other. Yeah. Like we met in high school, we've been together since high school. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, it's weird. I wouldn't say like before I met you. Mm -hmm. It's not like I was only interested in um, sort of black girls. Mm -hmm. um, but I really liked you when I met you, so it didn't really <laughs> didn't really matter. It was just I know you're just you. I just really liked you. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know. I, it's not like I've got a type. I don't know if you've. Nope. Mm. It's just, do I get on with you? Do I feel respected and have fun? I could say I'm sure there's somebody of every race and creed and all of that that I could say, oh, like I find you physically attractive. Like there's not only one person, so mm. I don't specifically go for white people or specifically go for black people I'm just like you're all right yeah yeah it, it does but, it depends on the person but it? yeah I don't think anyone's ever asked me can you find me a boyfriend or girlfriend so <laughs> <laughs> I'm not much of a matchmaker uh nobody's asked me that but I do I do have friends that are that are that do have a type and are specifically only into certain people, certain races. But I do feel like if you start doing that, and this is why I was saying in the beginning how like that's not something we focus on, because if you start doing that, you're gonna let yourself down because you're not looking for the right things. Yeah. You can find someone that specifically only dates black girls. Like you can find yourself a white guy that only dates black girls, but apart from finding you attractive, are they good to you? Do they have those good qualities? Like, are they who you want to perhaps be with for the rest of your life? So, yeah, I, just, I think, if anyone does ever get asked this question, I haven't been asked it outright, as I say, but I just feel like you're going down a bit of a slippery slope there. Yeah. You might find some slime balls, well, and you're in my opinion. I think then you're missing out on potentially so many yeah. great people. Yeah, 100%. Simply on their appearance. Yeah. So I only speak English. Um, I did GCSE German. <laughs> so that's about it. I mean, I've never felt like I can't talk about certain things, like talk about racial issues or inequalities and things with Alice. I've never felt like I have to hold back on anything. And I think that's, again, that's whole part of the whole being in a proper yeah. Relationship. Well, yeah, we've got that kind of that trust and respect for yeah. each other that we could talk about anything. Yeah. And we'd sort of listen to each other and listen to each other's points of view. So, so yeah, I don't get frustrated because that's not been an issue to me. Um, well, you, only because you're so gorgeous. Hey! Oh, you see, you see. Um, <laughs> no, never had that before. Not that I've paid attention to, anyway. If that has happened, I've never, never noticed. No. No. Yeah, I mean, I, I it'd be interesting to go to somewhere where there isn't as much tolerance and acceptance, mm. and then see what kind of the reaction would be. So yeah.
those are eight questions interracial couples get asked. I don't know if it was that much different to the other YouTuber whose video I'll leave down below. And I don't think it's that different. I think it all really depends, if I'm completely honest, I feel like it depends on the area you in. Because if, if we did live in an area that wasn't so diverse, it probably would be a lot harder. A lot harder. And perhaps if we didn't have families that were so like, whatever, or friends that were just like, whatever, like, don't even care, yeah. um, don't even notice, then it would be different. But we are really fortunate to live in 21st century really multicultural society that's yeah. like whatever so thanks for coming on my channel again it's okay, babe. i appreciate you thanks for I appreciate you and i want I, I was just about to say i want to go to byron burger <laughs> <laughs> so yeah this is my boyfriend I've dragged him along again and those are the questions if you are in an interracial relationship let me know what is the worst question you've ever been asked or the kind of worst scenario you found yourself in let's continue the discussion in the comments until next time thanks so much for watching bye bye